see if it has an impact as soon as he comes on. High contact. High contact. And it's going to pit an it. Ed Curnow running with Jack Viney. Jack Viney superb in that first game against West Coast. So he's got Ed Curnow, who's a, one of the best run with players in the competition for cover. Petrarca has got a long boot on him. Oh, it's short. And he really timed it like he wanted to. Carlton need to be clever here. Fourth and 17th so far for Goody. Gorn and Pitonet. Simpson normally uses it well. Tomlinson cuts it off. Not paid the mark. Pitonet. Ten times already. Can they generate something from the middle, Melbourne? Here's an opportunity. Mer How can you be winning the tackles when you're also dominating possession? Well, that's why it's 31 to 6. Comes to ground, Neil Bullen. Ray Chamberlain hit the ground. It was right there, Ray. It'll knock down. Good spot for Max here against Pitonet. Pitonet ripped it out of the air, got it to Murphy. Stood up in a tackle. Used to pick 32 to get Trent Rivers as well. Scramble by Setterfield. Touch though. Oh, wow. You kick that in the air, there's only one winner. That was a strange kick. Carlton have only had 41 handballs for the game. Melbourne have had. Gorn with a double handed pat down to Viney. Tried to shoot the handball up. Pinnett got there. Kicked off the deck. Started to even right up. Influence in the second half. Pinnett on a tough start in Carlton Colours. It's gone early. Fought back nicely in the second quarter. No Carlton play anywhere near it. And gets it. Straight from Max. Special delivery. Good boy, Pitnet. Yep. Just good follow-up work. That would have been really damaging that he missed. See what they can come up with here. Cripps to Pitnet. Full of run. Here's Martin in front of Summer committing with Cripps. Oliver took the mark, Pitnet cuts it off, and the Blues will go forward. Kick to Mark Pitnet, and even that last long ball down the line, he just worked Max off it through forward to try and give them a more competitive presence. Kurnow, get Aaron by hand, and now Pitnet, who, by oh, gee, he's turned his game around. For the little pocket option, now is a chance for the Blues, because Pitnet... That's not a great kick by Viney. If you're going to do that, do it to the pocket and get it out of bounds. Now he blasts it, heads long, Tomlinson pit net, Tomlinson crunched. Great effort pit net. As he so often does, Selwood and Cripps, the two balls collided, pit net. Half 186th for Carlton, all up. Okay, Cripps again the ball. Cripps and Dangerfield side by side, although it looks like the handover is what he was wanting. They're focused on this all week, they've got themselves a start, but it's only early days, they've got to capitalise on their good first 10 minutes. Coach 13 games, Chris Scott in season 10. Rules don't apply for the skill by hand, obviously. Krebs. Pitonet rises. Unopposed in the end. From the restart, Pitonet. It's a couple of possessions, but the wing can do that if the ball's on the other side of the ground for the majority of time. Kerno allowed to play onto advantage here. Out wide to Casbolt, got there. Super kick, super kick. Again, that was Pitnet that earned that ruck infringement. He got front position big enough to hold it against Stan Stanley. Thank you. Straight down the spine, no one manning up on Pitnet. Hands it to Martin. Had their own massive win here last week, 61 against Hawthorne. Worst possible start for this. Ablett, the centre field saddler, holds him up and we'll get a ball up. Knocked it high with his impact with those possessions from the restart. Ball sits on Pitonet's head. Got it down to Cripps though. Fantastic. Setterfield back to Pitonet. Spears the ball to half forward. They've got nine now. 14 scoring shots out of 24 inside 50s. I mean, they, they have just had a significant impact. So Guthrie on the bike and Dangerfield, Ablett and Selwood in there. Cripps, Pitonet. Kerno and Martin for the Blues. Ball knocked down towards that battle between Kerno. Worked on now since they ran out. I thought though, just slipped away from them last second. What was it to Pitnet's direction though? Out Mark Stanley. Chips the kick to Walsh. And that 42 point margin was Carlton's comeback against Mill. From the pocket, centering kick. They need a leaper. Stanley's the man. Pitnet in front of him. The more he plays, the better he looks. Blues essentially have every player behind this ball. Pitting it down to Cripps. Hands it. And they go for the ground ball, players. It might just... 
Radigalia tried to climb over Pitonet, who part over. Been done plenty of times before from the restart. Blues need a big set. Hawkins took it out of the oh. air. Kick half smothered. Mont breaks free, got it towards Guthrie. It's over. Blues have no one ahead of the ball. Pittonet knocks it down. Martin. Never Just ever. Little rib ticklers. <laughs> Still let the play. The big boys go at it again. Play on, ball knocked Grant. out. As Tony Lockett and Buddy Franklin have achieved that feat. They were white hot at the start of last. Play on. You. So Dylan Shield to half forward. Dangerous ball into his forward half. Pittonet, look out. Ball in. You. Center field. To the back. You. Just a hand. Ball Williamson. He's a left footer. And that was a beautiful kick. That right now, the Bombers. A bit more risk in their play. Pittonet. Plenty of time left in this one. McKernan into the ruck. Done it again. Pittonet. Brilliant stuff. The ball definitely looked like it hit the ground. I oh, definitely hit it. Pittonet. Bounce it. Flows and some patches of raw skill. And others in the 2017 Premiership for the Tigers. Can he win the game for the Bombers? Jacob Townsend. Is it good? The journey just touched on the line. Any damage with this kick? Doherty pumps it wide. Listen to this. The Blues win it by the barest of margins. Ross out the back. Okay. Billings' little ball didn't go far. I mean, he's had such a huge career. Getting to Walsh. Can Walsh get it clear? He does. Tonight has also been excellent. A bit of a prayer here. Hope ball and good mark taken by Pitonet. So Pitonet marks well within range. 25, 30 metres out, a good ball in at the end. So PT never kicked a goal pit in it. Then go on. I wonder whether or not he, he goes to Doherty if he starts to get some involvement on the wing. Uh, good call, BT. Doherty was in a position to get it off him, wasn't he? Strong mark by Pitonet. Hold there. So, so well, they're having real problems moving the ball now, aren't they? They can't win it, Bruce, in the moment. No. Blues got a breakthrough early. Pitnet. Ball or two. Let's see if they can put that into practice. Brave, be bold with your ball movement and risk losing by a little. Sunday night footy on Fox. Great to have you, company. Pitnet against English. And Cripps gets an early touch. Jams it on the boot, gets it to half forward. Casbolt, Easternwood had him half. You know, caught. Flick the handball out. Pitnet. Get it strapped. And be there for the second. Pitnet palms it down beautifully. And another Blues. Clearance even without Richards pulls the kick late. Not sure McRae was ready for it. Walsh got there, but he threw it out as he was tackled. Pitting it. They'll be outside the eight more than likely if they can't win this one tonight. And what about that from Pitting it? Pitting had a little rest, and that was a perfect palm down to Gibbons in space. Who hits Mackay on the move? The game. The big blokes are a little bit more damaging than the at the other end of the ground, including this man, Pitting it. Looks at the umpire, he knows he's going to throw it up, they haven't been bouncing because it's wet. And Pitonet into English and into the Sharon. Trying to impose himself on this match in this turf. McRae also starting to get a couple of possessions. Bailey Smith in and around the ball. So Pitonet doesn't realise it's his free. One of those ruck frees where both ruckmen don't know whose it is. And a hold! Adjust and match up their spear. But Wallace on Weedering is a, a really interesting matchup. I suspect Wallace is on Weedering. Over the last uh, few years, he's uh, maintained his high level. Pitonet. And he wraps up the little Caleb Daniel. Look at that straight jacket tackle. But Vanderbeer, nice first touch. Loops it over the head, though, Smith. Pitonet waiting for it. It's a benefit of a 17 game season. There's a premium place on every game. Ferris winner. And they're three and three. So they're into it, and we are as well. Pit are they lit first and then worry about what happens later? <laughs> Cripps kicks up to the wing. The ball moving, keep it in motion. And just the Paddy Cripps, just the strength to get it out of the contest and just keep the ball moving. Three for the year coming in in six games. Pitnet quickly onto it. And 
his way through there nicely. The, like, perfect handball. <laughs> Deeper to be that option. Jordan, fans have been asking that and commentators yeah. for 10 or 15 yeah. years. You're a mod just out of the game. I thought you'd agree with that necessarily. No. Well, you lose an opportunity to be threatening. Scott kicks to half forward. That's where it ends. Yeah. It's proving a good... Dug in well. Forgotten the easy kick to the lead up though at times. God, it's just on, isn't it? Whether Carlton can have their way in that manner. It gets it down and goes a second time. Martin up around the footy. The problem is it also discourages you from playing quick like that again when you're not getting a reward. Get an update on Mitch McGovern. Effectively. He'd only had the two possessions. So I, I don't think you can use that as an excuse. No, I'm thinking, I'm just more they've still, they've still got Casbolt and Ward. So yeah. still... Close checking, as you saw from the stoppage, but not close enough on that man. Going to be playing in front of McAvoy, so you need to try... And they're ranked last in the league for contested possessions. They're actually on form. Just get his run and carry back into the game. Help them with transition. Second time, Warple. War, the tackle. <laughs> I'm not sure what Ben McAvoy was doing then. <laughs> what was that manoeuvre? He's gone. Oh. Along, so they've been strong finishes, the Blues. Let's see if they can mount a challenge. Goes the short. Goes to one of the big guys. Ah, and the biggest on that occasion. Oscar Allen now taking a little bit of time. The ruck, Mark Murphy. Beautifully done. High ball looking for Casbold in front. This time, Barris is there with him. Pitnet got it out the back here. Little handball comes to Walsh. And Walsh has a crack. I think it might have come from Gibbons. And kicks the second for the Blues. Exactly what you want from your key forward. If you're not going to mark it, take the whole pack with you. And then look at the Carlton players at ground level. Good, sharp hands. Nice. Once again, Natanui this time. Cripps read it beautifully. <laughs> but that one's frustrating. A lot of footy fans, me too. Yeah. Pitnet cleverly got boots a ball. Called to play on. Casbolt's been a pretty good target so far. Pitnet did well. Got in front, Nat. Pitnet is leading on him, working him over, tiring him out. And then Nick Nat to come on and have that huge impact afterwards. Before. It's almost to the point where his stats are irrelevant yeah. as well. Like, you, you... Yeah, really well done. Look at this. Matt wow. Nui! ...at the moment. So, under pressure, but they've been organising defensively, attacking really well. Kennedy's in there. Nelson again. Cole, little handball along the line. Gaff may have kicked it out of bounds in the full. That one out, which then allows that person to look upfield under a little bit less pressure. My boundary umpire hoisting this one in. On, Hit and eight. On. Caught in the Allen tackle. Now there's the big leader stepped up. Natanui got him. Pit and net. Can they get it forward? Cut. Elliot Yo. Cripps just trying to hold up. Nunes, Barris. Sold himself into a little bit of pressure there. Oscar Allen. Tent was to go there. It was good. Have a look there. Well, probably but not going to win it going out this way. No, but last resort, go long. Now they can go. Gibbons. He's got some athleticism. I like the way he took it up to Nick Nananui a couple of times today. There yeah. is Nick Nan. We love him. We love his mum, Jackie, too. She... So knocked down here to Kelly. The West Coast have won the last five. They've got Hawthorne next week at Optus and then. After that, they've got GWS also at Optus. We see Carlton down here. Thanks. So a minute Thank 50 you. to go. Now Penderbury felt his pit net just keeps it in, does well. Kick to Walsh was good. It's been superb. 4-5 to 4-2. Pit net. Blues by eight. Collingwood. Well there, didn't it? Elliot Penderbury. It's all set up for a fantastic last term. Adams holding Bring the footy. The ball. Carlton. Pitonet and Grundy again. Pitonet with strength. Cripps. To They're close attention to each other, as you can see. Thanks for that, Abby. So the NT, very hot conditions. And that's the other Jew right there. Stewie Jew. <laughs> Wits. Yeah, well, it's interesting because it is a son's home game. They're building a great relationship with the NT, but I would have to say. Spot on. Gavin, so Mackay really impressing again tonight, not for the first time. There's just to keep the Suns ticking along, not going to get it like that, but Carlton with all the numbers and Pittonet's taken the mark. All things you wanted as a defender. Pittonet knocked down to Eddie. Murphy 
back to Martin, and then Martin will find out if they can make some inroads at least, or can the Blues continue? to pit and it strong on Swallow there. That was a great follow-up by the Ruckman and. And you're right about Mackay. He had a he had a oh. lot of space to kick that on his oh. right foot. Oh, Lacocious kicked it up the bum of Pittenet then. Brian is no, no Jack no Jack Nunes there. They know who they are. <laughs> High footy. So we got Richo against Frio. Yeah, they, they've been on the build a little bit, and they finally got some reward on the scoreboard last week. Hit net, knocks it forward. Through traffic, well done. Oh, Straightened them up, went corridor as well. Kick was a little short. Hit net oh, in front of Finlayson. And both had wonderful careers. The nice. clearances are just going the Blues way at the moment. Nice little five-minute patch for Carlson. Heads. Cameron gets the handball wide, Pitonet gets involved, and that'll just about do it. So Mackay, he's fanned that to the left. Stays in. From the Cole centre circle there, as Cripps just puts this ball on the head of Pitonet. And we're underway. There is big Oscar McInerney. Pitonet went and found it. That is a lot of football. Two Carlton champions. Pitonet went over the top of Steph Martin back. Martin back in. Pitonet jumps all over him. Cripps, the big Ruckman, works forward. Helicopters one inside 50. Pitonet dropped. Marvie should have taken. Now he's still trying to go back and get at the big filler. On there. To the skipper Zorko. Just pops it up. The big O's down there. Pitonet. Some nice aggression about him. Tom DeConing or DeConing. That kick oh, straight into the arms of Pitonet. Or two years in a row. Uh, Carlton boys have come out with a lot more energy, and it's led by Jack yeah. Martin. Might have given Sam Walsh just a little his fair share of attention. Good to see him back out there. Birch, he's had so many dramas. He... So going for a bit of history this year, Birch. Through came Pitonet to Walsh and back to Pitonet. Wobbles one high forward. 26, 13 contested. You've got to put a fair bit of weight on those two goals to Rich. He's got no option but to just thump a long one down the line. Necessarily causing an issue though, having to play on, but maybe not tonight. Caden Coleman dispossessed. William. As he guard that managed to just penetrate it to the wing and the big man. He has set his lines up for a real chance.